Sisu. This is the story of Aphmau. These kids are crazy, though. So take that into account. I was somewhere in that area. I know where Aphmau kind of lives. We've talked about it. These beautiful genius children. They're also pranksters, though. So don't get too excited. This is the conversation I had with my friend's daughter. She said, I don't know. We were talking about you and I, cause she's also nine. And I said something about Aphmau. She goes, I love Aphmau. Aphmau lives in this neighborhood. I looked around and I thought, for sure she does. Don't know how my friend lives there. It's a really nice neighborhood. I don't, I don't get it. They're so broke. I had to buy them milk, man. Anyway, uh, confusing. So I said, whoa, really though? She was like, yeah, yeah. And I said, well, can I go over there and take a picture with her to get points with my daughter? She said, no way, man. She said, she seems really happy on her videos, but she's really miserable in real life. And I thought, oh, I can relate to that. Then I said, well, she just lives over there. She's like, well, she's a teenager. And I thought, what? I thought she was like my age for some weird reason. And, and I said, how old is she? And she said, 16. I said, so she lives with her parents over there? And she goes, oh, no. She lives by herself because she's a millionaire. I thought, in a weird way, that makes sense. And I was like, man, is that even legal? She's like, when you have that much money, you can do whatever you want. And I said, well, what kind of car does she drive? Because I thought maybe I could just drive around the neighborhood for you. But she goes, a limo. And at that point, I realized how gullible I am, man. And I said, come on. She doesn't drive a limo. And she just started laughing maniacally. And she said, she doesn't drive a limo. She, and she said, she doesn't live by herself, you idiot. <coughs> she lives with her parents. And she said, I was pranking you, Anne Marie. Well, they call me Anna, Annie, or something like that. I don't know. I couldn't correct them anymore. <laughs> they also tried to play chess with my chessboard that I bought at Walmart for $5 or something left at headliners when nobody came up there to play with me. I swear, man, Hank and what's his face are always everywhere with a chessboard, except for when I'm there with a chessboard. I know, but they came running up to me and they said, Annie, <laughs> we're missing a piece. We've looked everywhere. We can't find it. And I said, well, that can't be as brand new. I never opened it. And she said it was opened. And I thought, headliners. I said, what piece were you missing? And she said, the white king. I said, oh my God. Joe Harvey and or Hank and or anybody else. That is so cool. Can't believe you didn't steal the black king though. Now I'm confused about my future. And so I said to my friend, her dad, I said, the white king on the black square. And without hesitating, he said, me. I was like, for real though. I was like, this black square you 